Palestinians, they just happen to be there. They are our brethren now. Our bre these Palestinians, they had a, a giant in their midst, an eight-foot giant called Jalut, Goliath. You always hear about David and Goliath. David and Goliath, they made a film, David and Goliath. Goliath is an eight-foot giant. Abnormal. But the Palestinians were very happy. Say, hey, we've got a giant in our midst now. Now let's see what the Jews can do. So they are on a hilltop, gathered with Jalut, and on the opposite hill are the Jews. So this Jalut is shouting, Say, you Jews, is there anybody there who can take me on? I'll chew you alive. And really, if he can grab any one of those, he could crush them. Allah had given him the size and the strength. But while he's shouting, you see an eight-foot giant is abnormal, abnormal. An abnormal person, he behaves abnormally. You know, he's not steady on his feet. Eight-foot giant on the hill. You see, he's swaying as if he had taken some drugs or alcohol. He didn't. But it appears, you know, he's shouting like a drunken man, say, you Jews, I'll fix you up and all that, come. <laughs> so, the Jews were terrified. They were shivering in their pants. I don't know whether they used to wear pants those days. But figuratively, they're shivering in their pants. So, Dawood is there. What is he doing? He's looking after his father's sheep. He was a shepherd boy. He was no prophet then. He's there, looking after his father's sheep. You see, if the battle was taking place here, and if Dawood was looking, grazing his sheep where the Sheraton is, you would never have heard of Dawood. You know that? He had to be there, ear shot of Jalut, that Jalut is shouting, and he's hearing there on the opposite hill what this guy is saying, and to him it makes his mouth water. So what an opportunity. This guy is a sitting duck man, sitting target for me. Little doubt for the Jews, the veterans of so many wars, they are terrified, petrified at this huge giant. So little doubt comes to Talut, Talut, the commander Saul, they call him Saul, and tells him, he says, look, I'm prepared to take this fellow on. So what? You? We veterans of so many wars, you know, we are terrified, and you? He said, I'll take him on. He said, go, go, man, look after your father's sheep. He said, look, that guy, you know, he's so enthusiastic, you know, so easy, you know, I'll knock him over. The young man, he's got something in his mind. So Talut says, look, man, that type of enthusiasm, you don't squash it. He said, look, here's my sword and my shield. So little Dawood says, look, I don't know this. In my life, I never handled it. Maybe the sword is too heavy for him. He said, look, I got my sling. So what? With a toy? It's a joke. What a joke. We with swords and shields, we can't take him on. And now you with a sling, you want to fight him. With a stone. Sling. He says, look, man, you don't know. You know what I can do with this. That enthusiasm. Oh, power Saul, the commander. He says, all right, go, go. You want to commit suicide? Go. So, Hazrat Dawud salam, he walks down the hill, he picks up a few pebbles, stones, the ones that our children are carrying now. Look, the stones are doing something. What all our other efforts had failed so far, what the little children with the stones are achieving, same story is being repeated. He picks up the stones, he puts one in the pouch of the sling, it was an old-fashioned sling, not the one with the rubber because rubber was not invented. So he puts it in, and two strings, he swings it, wing, 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 gains momentum, and at the right moment he lets go one side of the string for the missile, the stone to fly. He has been practicing this, he has been killing birds with it, he has been killing rabbits with this. So, he is a good marksman. What he has, he uses. That's what Allah wants us to do. What you got, you use. No, 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 you want sophisticated weapons, you want laser guns. You wait till doomsday, you might not get them. Use what you have, what Allah gave you, use it now. And you see how effective it is. However silly and toy-like it looks. He puts it in and he swings and he lets go and the missile hits Jalut on the forehead. Cracks his skull and he falls. And little Dawood rushes up. Takes his own sword, his own sword, and chops off his head. 
So Allah records it for us in the Holy Quran. He said, وَقَتَلَ دَاوُدُ جَالُوتَ وَأَتَاهُ اللَّهُ الْمُلْكَ وَالْحِكْمَةَ وَأَلَّمْهُ مِنْ مَا يَشَاءَ And Dawood killed Jalut, and Allah gave him dominion, and wisdom, and whatever else he willed. So the Jew says, David killed Goliath. The Christians say, David killed Goliath. We say, Dawood killed Jalut. I said, poor Jalut was set up. Can't you see? He was set up for this. Who did the setting up? The Palestinians? No. The Jews? No. There is somebody at work. He is at work. Wallah, he's working all the time. Allah is working all the time. He's using everybody. If you allow yourself to be used in his way. If not, you find a thousand excuses. Thousand excuses. Like one following the newspaper, some Arab newspaper. Name, beautiful name, Abdullah Ahmad Hussein. I am Ahmad Hussein. You know that? I am Ahmad Hussein. Ahmad Hussein did that. When I was in Pakistan, I didn't use the word did that because the people get puzzled. What's did that? You see, now you know I said, well, did that. It's a surname, you see, quite from my Hindu ancestors. That surname remains. What caste or breed I come from. That indicates did that. It's not a Muslim name. Ahmad Hussein. My name Ahmad. My father is Hussein. Ahmad Hussein. My brother is Abdullah. This guy. Abdullah, Ahmad Hussein. What beautiful combination of names. He wants to know how did this guy did that get into Kuwait. Imagine, he wants to know how did I get here. You know, I'm creating trouble here. I'm creating, you know, turmoil here for you people. Well, you read that. The number of charges he has made in that. The coward, the munafik, he is not coming forward. If he's here, is he here? Let him come forward and ask me the question. You hit me in the newspaper. What do you want me to do? How can I respond to a dozen different charges? You know, things that he says. He says, you know, I'm not an Arab, and I'm telling Arabs what to do. <laughs> he says, you see, Allah sent prophets to every nation according in their own language. That's what Allah says. To every nation he sent, I mean, ummatin illa khala fiha nasir. And there never was a people without a warner having been sent out himself. qawmin had, and to every nation a guide. But those guides came to preach to them in their own language. That's the law of God. Now, on that basis, I should reject Islam. All the non-Arabs must reject Islam. Because Muhammad came in to the Arabs in the Arabic language. He should come to me and speak to me in Gujarati. Huh? He must talk to the guy in Swahili, in, in, the, in the Fulani language. That is an amazing, a leading newspaper can put that front page news. Front page news. You know, I don't know. I don't know who's running the minds of people here. That munafik, if he's here, let him come forward and ask me whatever question you want. How I got into Kuwait? How is it that a non-Arab is speaking to Arabs? I have no right. Am I not your brother? No, that's, that's his implies. He says, no, you see. <laughs> Leave it out. Leave it out. So, my dear brethren, you see, the battle is on. It'll ever be on. Between the Jews, the Christians, and the Muslims. The Jews and the Christians on one side, and the Muslims on the other side. Allah Bari Talat gives us that reminder. The first night that I spoke, I started with the ayah, وَلَن تَرْضَى أَنْكَ الْيَهُودُ وَلَن نَصَارَى حَتَّى تَتَّبِعَ مِلَّتَهُمْ That the Jews and the Christians will never, never be satisfied with you, O Muslim. No mind what you do. You remember, those of you that were here. Look, this is what Allah says. Unless he doesn't know what he's talking about. Don't you, don't you think that Allah knows what he's telling you? He says, they will never, never be satisfied with you until you follow the brand of religion. That's all. You become a Christian. Peace with the Christians. But he said, look, what about Palestinian brother? And I said, look, man, you are living together. Allah doesn't say, go and kill them. In Egypt, I'm not telling go and kill the cops. What it means is that now you share your deen. Share it with them. And these are the first people with whom we should have shared our deen. First people. They were the fittest people to receive the message. Allah tells us in the Holy Quran again. He says, Kuntum khaira ummatin He says, you are the best of people evolved for mankind. For mankind, not for yourselves, you Arabs. For mankind.